When did the president know about this? And what did he know? What did he know and when did he know it? That's for an after action review. But as the president fiddles, people are dying. And we have to, we just have to take every precaution. Uh, what the president, his uh, denial at the beginning uh, was deadly. His delaying of getting uh, equipment to where it's, it continues, his delay in getting equipment to where it's needed is deadly. Well, you know, it's a sad thing. Look, she's a uh, sick puppy, in my opinion. She really is. She's got a lot of problems, and that's a horrible thing to say. And don't forget, she was playing the impeachment game, you know, her game where she ended up looking like a fool. You know, to, for her to make a statement like that, I saw that. I thought it was a disgrace. I think it's a disgrace to her country, her family. I think it's, it shouldn't be. And I guess now when she says, oh, I pray for the president, I pray for the president so much, well, I, I don't think that's true. What a statement to make. This is about the Constitution of the United States and the facts that lead to the president's violation of his oath of office. And as a Catholic, I resent your using the word hate in a sentence that addresses me. I don't hate anyone. I was raised in a way that is full, a heart full of love and always prayed for the president. And I still pray for the president. I pray for the president all the time. So don't mess with me when it comes to words like that. No, what she said, she's blaming the president of the United States for people dying because of the way he's uh, led the country. That's the most shameful, disgusting statement by any politician in modern history. She is the one that held up the package in the Senate for days to get the uh, Green New Deal put in a recovery package. So it's the most shameful, disgusting thing I've heard yet, and it needs to stop. Both sides were getting ideas included in a plan and then yesterday, the Speaker of the House showed up with an agenda. And then all of a sudden, it got taken over at the leadership level. And so now, instead of talking about helping workers, we're talking about the Green New Deal. What concerns me is when I listen to Nancy Pelosi talk about a fourth package now, it's because she did not get yeah. in the things that she really wanted. To change the election law, a Green New Deal, expand, make us pay for Planned Parenthood, and expand what, what you're seeing for sanctuary cities. This was drafted in a bipartisan manner, but what happened? I've got to tell you, yesterday, Sunday, most of us thought we were going to move to this. But then Nancy Pelosi decided it was time to play politics. I canceled the deal last night. I said, I'm not going to sign that deal because Nancy Pelosi came in and put a lot of things in the deal that had nothing to do with the workers, that had to do with an agenda that they've been trying to get passed for 10 years. The bill now contains a huge number of changes that our Democratic colleagues requested, including major changes. We were this close, this close. Then yesterday morning, the Speaker of the House flew back from San Francisco. And suddenly, the Senate's serious bipartisan process turned into this left-wing episode of supermarket sweep. 